There is always a potential for fire and smoke to spread through concealed cavities and voids in roofs, floors and walls. Therefore, building regulations require that cavities and concealed spaces in buildings are subdivided or sealed by means of cavity barriers and fire stopping. Cavity barriers require special attention from building designers because they are usually hidden once installed and are therefore sometimes impossible to inspect after installation. Failure of cavity barrier systems have been implicated in a number of fires, particularly in timber-framed buildings. In practice, a detailed check of all cavity barriers is all but impossible without invasive inspection. Where visible, however, a fire risk assessor must ensure that cavity barriers are in place and not damaged. Any obvious or significant defects should be noted in the assessment and a full invasive third party inspection should be considered. If a building has external cladding, a fire at a lower level can spread up the face of the building, behind the cladding and re-enter the building higher up. Several fires have resulted in fatalities due to fire spreading in this manner. When high-rise buildings like offices and flats with a rain screen or external cladding are being assessed, particular care needs to be taken that suitable cavity barriers are installed. A fire risk assessor may be unable to adequately check the cladding or facade construction. Therefore, the installation records provided by the installer should be examined. If there is any doubt about the safety of the installation, a specialist third-party organisation should be engaged to determine the condition of any cavity barriers. And the results of all inspections must be recorded for future assessments.